What is up you guys? My name is Dumaisa45 and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick look and a quick review of Smart Launcher 2 for Android. Okay, so for this quick look and this quick review of Smart Launcher 2 for Android, I'm going to be using my Sony Ericsson Xperia X10, which as of the date this video was posted, is rooted and is running Android 2.1. So we're going to go ahead and unlock the device. And here you go. This is Smart Launcher 2 for Android. Now, the way I'm going to do this review is first, I'm going to be reviewing the look and design of this launcher. And then two, I'm going to be reviewing the, the functionality of this launcher. Three, I'm going to be reviewing the customization of this launcher. And then four, I'm going to be giving you my overall impressions of this launcher. So we're going to start with look and design. In terms of look and design, if you compare it from the first smart launcher to this one, no, nothing has significantly changed really with this launcher. Everything still almost looks the same if you compare it to the old launcher. But that's not a bad thing. This launcher has always looked this way, looked very simple, looked very elegant, and looked very organized. So I'm happy that they kept it with this design because Smart Launcher has always been like this and that's what makes it unique and different from other launchers. So in terms of look and design, it's still good, it still looks great, it's still very simple and elegant and I like the way it still looks. And I'm happy that they didn't change it. Now in terms of functionality, everything still looks the same. You have your screen right here. At the you have your screen here where you can get to all your shortcuts and if you have the pro version you can put widgets and stuff here or if you're just using the free version like me you only get to see the time and the date and if you swipe from the very left of your screen to the right all your apps and everything are still organized in six sections that being communication internet games media utility and settings and if you still want to move every move any app to a different section you can just press and hold on whatever app you want to move and you can just move it around or if you don't want to you can start to open the app uninstall it to get rid of it or kill it if it's running in the background and if you don't want to you can just go back so in terms of functionality everything still looks very simple it's still plain it's still great it still looks good and overall it's still <laughs> A very minimalistic launcher that's always been this simple but you know not as simple as iOS but still it's very simple and it's still easy to use just if you compare it to different other launches which are kind of complicated to use so in terms of customization not much has changed either you know you can click the three dots here at the top and click preferences go to themes and you know you can still install um, apps and every, you can install um, different themes and stuff from the launcher and you can also press this button right here to show only the free ones you get to see all your themes and stuff transfer customization not much has significantly changed everything still customization hasn't really changed really there are still plenty of themes but not as many if you compare it to most launchers but still it's still pretty decent still pretty good and it still gives you more control over your over the look of your Android device. The lock screen beta is new actually. It's still in beta as it says um, and most of the themes for this lock screen beta is still are all still paid and you know you can if you want one you need to like buy it and it's still in beta version so you won't be getting much from it yet and it still doesn't work as well. But hopefully in the near future, this um, part of the launcher will get more themes and stuff and will be more customizable. But as of right now, as of the date this video was posted, not much. So overall, my overall thoughts of this launcher, it's still great, it's still good. I'm happy they kept most of the things here the way it is because that's what makes the launcher unique and different from other launchers. It's still great to use, it's still very simple, still very elegant, very elaborate and this is a great launcher to use and if you're looking for something very simple very elegant but still very easy to use and something that's you know 
good customization I guess so thank you guys for watching that is my quick look and my quick review of smart launcher 2 for Android if you want to download the launcher yourself I left a link for it in the description below and if you want to see more videos like this be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video rate it favorite it and if you have any suggestions of what I should what else I should do here on my channel feel free to comment in the comment section below once again guys thank you guys for watching I hope you will like me on Facebook follow me on Twitter follow me on Instagram I left all those links in the description below and I will see you guys in the next video to my 45 out